Hey everybody, this is My Collectibles coming back with another video and we have another cool comic with a Scotty Young variant that is really, really nice and super scarce. Here is a first look at it. It's coming to Vivi. This is Avenger 684 with the Immortal Hulk. This is going to be a nice one, you guys. I'm going to give you a full breakdown, show you how much it goes for in print and talk about that Scotty Young variant because Vivi collectors really like scotty young covers and that one actually exists in print as well you can see it over there on the on the far side it's quite funny <laughs> so this is another good one for sure and this is one of those tester comics for the mcp along with x-men 12 with the juggernaut so very interesting to see what's going to be happening with this one so if you do like the video make sure you hit like and comment down below i will give you some price predictions on this one but it's very hard to tell just because of that whole MCP thing that's going to be happening and the scarcity on this one. But I'll give you my best shot at it for sure, right? But check it out right here. Here is the article breakdown that we have right here. Marvel Digital Comics Avengers 684. Now, this is the first appearance of the Immortal Hulk. You know, there are a lot of different kind of storylines that go along with this character right here. Devil Hulk is another one. You can do a whole Google search and go review the character. We do have a comic already in the app, Immortal Hulk number one. If you remember this one, this is a really nice one. High edition sizes for today's day and age, but a beautiful comic for sure. And this one already exists on the app with its variants, right? But this comic is the first appearance right there that they say in, you know, in this particular uh, incarnation of the Hulk right here, which is one of the most powerful, right? There's the common, look at that awesome cover right there. He's so scary, <laughs> this particular version of him. One of the most powerful versions of the Hulk right there. There's the uncommon, looks great as well. Now there is the Scotty Young variant which is the rare, and this one's going to be very popular, I think, in the app because people really do like this. And also, this is super scarce, guys. There's the ultra rare, also exists in print right there. And then, of course, there is the secret rare, you know, with that panel inside. And now check this out. This is pretty awesome. $6.99 and 5,000 editions. So this is quite something. Now, here's the breakdown for the MCP. Check this out. This drop will be a test for MCP priority bidding, the first benefit collectors can take advantage of using the master collector program points. More info below. So I covered this in the video uh, recently, you know, with the MCP, the redeemable points for these drops for waitlist. Check it out. This is how it goes right here. MCP minimum priority bid is 5,000 points. So you got to spend 5,000 points if you want to get priority bidding on this particular comic you know, to get ahead of the curve. Now they're holding some back, you know, obviously just for this, if you, you know, not everybody needs to use MCP to go after this drop. There is, you know, a vert, like a, there is a whole bunch that are just for the re everybody else if they don't want to use MCP. But if you want to get priority bidding, you basically just do this right here with the MCP. You spend 5,000. Now you can go higher and you'll get even higher priority bidding, right? And I explained this, how this whole thing works in my recent video. Look at this. The secret rares of 125 editions. And look at that rare right there. The Scotty is going to have 500 editions. So this one's going to do quite well. Now in print, this isn't worth a ton of money, that's for sure. So it's going to be worth more here, I think, than it is even in print, which is quite amazing. Not on the common at a graded level, of course, but we're talking about those secret rare, ultra rare, and rare variants. But a 9.8 goes for $85 US, and there's about, you know, almost 3,000 graded. So it's very popular you know, but it's not worth a ton at this particular moment, but check it out. Hulk gains new powers and becomes the immortal Hulk. You can go over to eBay right here and you can get a 9.8. There's someone selling one right there for about 110, you know, Canadian anyway, plus shipping. So that's pretty good. You can see that the first appears, here's the second print. Okay. And that one is actually the ultra rare right here. This is the ultra. This is the second print. This is the Scotty Young variant that exists in, you know, in print as well. But this is the second printing because this was a popular comic. If you scroll down, check it out. The Scotty Young variant in print, you know, if we wait for the price right here, $60 for a 9.8. So you can actually pick this one up for pretty good as well. 
you know, and it's going to be interesting to see how much it's going to be worth in the VV app as comparison. And then there's the second printing rate here. You can see this one. This one actually has the most value at a 9.8 because it's, you know, a little bit scarcer for sure. Only 41 known at a 9.8 and gets a, a hundred a US right there. But you can see that price variant right there. So if you go to eBay, you can pick up all of those variants. There's a Scott Young right there for about 20 plus, plus shipping. So it's about 45 if you pick one up, you know, some watchers on it. So it's a very popular comic. You know, people really like this one for sure, right? And if you go after the one that's in the app, you can kind of match them up. And we also have all of those Hulk collectibles. Maybe we'll get an Immortal Hulk version, which would be absolutely amazing as well, right? But this comic right here, this Scotty Young is going to be a lot of fun. So let's do my price predictions on this one. And this is a little bit tough to judge right here, but I think the Scotty Young variant goes for at least 25 to 30. I think it's probably going to be one of the more valuable ones in this drop compared to the other one. So I'm going to start with that one right there. The Ultra Rare probably goes for about the same price, in my opinion, 25 to 30 around there. The Secret Rare right there, because it's so scarce, this one's going to go over 100 because there's only 125 of these available to the public remember this is a 5000 edition comic so it's going to be quite something so i do think the scotty young could be the most valuable then you're going to have the common and the uncommon i think they're going to both go for just under retail at first but because they're so scarce i think they're going to stick around that level around seven to eight gems they could be a little bit lower right but if someone decides to sweep the floor on this one they're going to go all the way up over you know over 10 gems you know and at least at the bottom level on the floor, I'll probably be always be able to get this one for a little cheaper for sure. You know, somewhere around the four to five gem range. But right after that one or two listings, it's going to go up because it's so scarce, right? So I'm thinking about, you know, right around retail on both of these guys right here. And then this one is going to be the one that people like the most. And we've seen this on VV before lately, you know, where we have a variant that actually could be worth more than the Secret Rare or even worth more than the other ones. We've seen that on the Spider-Man 700 with that amazing fantasy cover. We've seen it. It's quite interesting. And I really love that because people are going to go for the art that they like the most, right? So now it's time for your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Are you going for this one? This is going to be really interesting to see what happens with the MCP bidding. You know, the 5,000 points that you could spend. People have millions of points so you can actually see that some people, if they want to get this comic and be first to get it, then, uh, you know, or have a chance to get it, we're going to see. And remember, X-Men 12 has the same thing going on with it as well. So these two drops coming up this week are going to be super fascinating to watch. I'm going to be going for both. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm going to test out. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to test out the MCP priority bidding on this comic right here on the, uh, you know, the Avengers one, just to test it. I'll throw my bid in there at 5,000 or something like that, just to have some fun, right? Anyway, let me know what you think. Good luck on the drops. I'll see you in the next video and happy collecting.